Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Intermax Infinity 720 watt power supply. What's included is the user's manual, a pouch to put the modular leads into, two holographic magnets, two case badges, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a four pin Molex to two floppy drive power leads adapter, a power cable, and the power supply. This power supply is available in two wattages, 650 and 720. I'm reviewing the 720 model, which is enough power for today's high-end computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 160 watts and the 12 volt rail is 672 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans, etc. Also, some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt is 25 amps and the plus 5 volt is 30 amps. Now, unlike some power supplies that only have one or two plus 12 volt rails, this model has three. The plus 12 volt one is 28 amps, the plus 12 volt two is 28 amps, and the plus 12 volt three is 30 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. If, however, you are going hardcore and have a multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's above 700 watts. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all the current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend getting a power supply that has APFC, APFC or active power factor correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has active PFC. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. It's all steel, so it's fairly heavy. There's one quiet 135 millimeter fan, which is recessed. This ensures it will fit any ATX case. This power supply also has what's called cool guard. This keeps the power supply fan and all the system fans running after the computer is shut down. This ensures that the power supply and all the system components stay cool even when the system is turned off. Another unique feature is power guard. This feature warns you of potential failure via the LED and an audible alarm and will shut down the computer before any damage occurs. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. This power supply has lots of leads. Most of these leads are modular, but a few are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed. The modular leads are easily attached or removed, which is very convenient because you only need to use the leads necessary for your particular setup. All the leads are sleeved and this reduces cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. Additionally, the four pin Molex leads have easy grip connectors which make connecting and disconnecting hardware simple. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan.
if you have or are building a very high-end computer system, you should definitely check this power supply out. It has lots of quality, clean power, modular leads, a nice large, quiet 135mm fan. It has a cool guard and power guard technology as well. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time. Take care. A four pin Molex to four and as a habit. Oh my gosh. I also has what's called Cool Guard. This keeps the power supply fan and all the system fan. This pot. This pie? This is a pie? Oh god. I think I need one. Need to get a pie. Mmm, tasty. Another unique feature is Power Guard. This feature warns you of potential failure.